The role of stewardship plays a very important part in your life and my life. And I illustrate that by this old, old wagon wheel. First of all, I look at this wagon wheel and I see a place for the axle. That axle represents Jesus Christ. That is, the axle carries the weight. Christ carries the weight, not only of this world, but the whole universe. When you accept him, you're putting your whole weight, your whole faith, your whole life on him. And he can do it. He, he did it. But then the next part of this wagon wheel is the hub. And I call that the sanctuary doctrine by which we look through to do our hermeneutics of Scripture. This helps us stay focused. It helps us see through the facade and the blurredness of every aspect of this world. It's where we get clarity. If we lose that, we're no different than anybody else. So I have Christ in the sanctuary. But then I have the spokes of this old wagon wheel. And those spokes represent the different ideas, the different doctrine, the different beliefs. For example, the state of the dead. Here's tithing. Here's the Sabbath. Here's health. Here's Christian education. Here's how to get along with mom and dad. And here's how to get along with your wife or your husband. All those different kinds of beliefs, everything that I hold as a belief, it needs to be filtered through the sanctuary and anchored in Jesus. Otherwise, you're liable to have a wheel missing a few spokes. And I've seen a few people that are missing a few spokes down then. But then I've got this rim. The rim is the three angels' message for mission. The Adventist church is not static. It doesn't stand still. If it does, it's a dying church. That three angels' message for mission gives us the urgency of why we do what we do. But it's all attached to the spokes. The Romans discovered that whenever they made these spokes, uh, they call it dishing the spokes, they, they put them at an angle. They act as a brace on the wheel. So when that chariot turned fast, the wheel wouldn't fall apart. So your beliefs act as a brace between the three angels' message and the sanctuary doctrine and Christ. It all works together. Stewardship is a system. So I have one piece left, and that's this iron tire. That's called stewardship. The wheelwright that made this wheel, I say, is God. This is a man-made invention. You don't find it in nature. The wheel, that is. So we made it. So God makes us the way He wants to. This stewardship tire touches everything that you do in life. Your Christian experience is reacting to events that happen to you. So how are you doing with that? Some of us do it good. Some of us do it poor. Sometimes the tire fall off, falls off and God has to reset our stewardship. I just remind you of the story of Peter. He denied Christ three times. And with one look, without a word, Jesus reset his stewardship. 